Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I am still playing around with um, testing out disks on in Linux. I'm probably also going to be testing them in Windows just to see the comparison after testing multiple drives in Windows I kind of know what it has to look like faulty and um, not worth my time and we have another new disk here that um, we can test on also plus the one that is down here and first on the last video I asked you to uh, to give me some pointers to what I could try using Linux and I did get some um, Linux help first water flame I don't know how that works but uh, yeah sudo smart ctl uh, a command that would test the hard drive I ran that I couldn't find out where to get the data out of it but well it run and then I was helped by Mr. NetApp thank you he said that crystal disk mark was available in a um, alternative version for Linux called K disk mark and I've tried to install that, that gave me some issues, it wouldn't install but um, after me figuring out that I hadn't put the network cable in that, that helped I can, I can give you that little tip internet connection is very helpful when you're going to be installing something from the internet and on Windows I know what that looks like but oh, well Linux didn't tell me that I was an idiot like Windows does so I don't know if that's good or bad then there was um, trolling around that's his username, trolling around. Probably isn't the best choice, as oh, um, well, this was actually pretty helpful. He told me that if I was running a command and needed to do that command again with a sudo in front, I could um, I could I could use the sudo exclamation mark exclamation mark, and um, he actually explained that, so that was very helpful. Haven't needed it yet, but little pointers like that helps. But as you can see, here is a K disk bar. It has been running in the background while I've been waffling. And it looks very much like Crystal Disk Bar. I, I, I see where they found their inspiration. So, yeah, that's available on Linux. Thank you very much. You can change the theme here. So, that was very helpful. I, it didn't work at first because. Um, I hadn't formatted it and given it a, a thing key here, so I had to do that first. Let's just run the normal disk test. I think we have it here. That's where I I call it test 01. I'm, I'm good at doing that. So let's just run the benchmark on it again. It remembers the last benchmark we did. So let's start benchmark. And these are the numbers that I ran last time. So start benchmark. It needs a password. I have no idea why. It's clearly going downhill. <laughs> but it actually doesn't look bad. It looks okay-ish. It's not terrible from what I see here. So, uh, okay, that's that's not too bad let's try the other disk so yeah here we have another new battery drive <clears throat> and this has been replaced we don't need the box anymore and the drive is here and um, yeah I have some trays if anyone needs some. It, they come with screws. There, there are screws there. So uh, if anyone has an HPE server with uh, 3.5 inch hard drives, maybe look into if, if this is the size that you need. They are affordable. Yeah, sorry about the noise actually. Uh, people have been making me aware that Hmm. I should try that someday. They almost fit in here. That would be fun. So, ah, ah, not quite. That would have been fun. What happens with a um, 
with a Linux server when you unplug the hard drive? I, uh, I'm yet to find out, but I guess um, I can't really break anything, so let's just pop it out. Oh, it just... It, it disappeared up here. It's gone. But let's pop the other one in. Oh, it's cold. And this is another Dutchy hard drive. So, uh, yeah, the the fact that all of these HPE drives are failing, it's not uh, it's not really HPE fault. This is a this is a Seagate drive, and for some reason, they don't do very well. And the new drive popped up right over here. Center, right? So let's make a petition on that. I get to show you that. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. It's just me. So I can format this drive and I can call it test 2. There. And I have different options for how I want this drive to act. And as I'm going to be using it in Windows afterwards, I'm going to pick the NTFS. This is of course totally stupid if I was going to use the disk for, uh, for Linux, I would probably go with the first one. But as I'm moving it over into a Windows machine a little bit later in this video, I hope, um, it makes sense. So let's continue that and format and it asks for a password. There, it's formatting. There, it's done. And we kind of have to mount the selected partition there. So that we get a um, we get a folder or something. So cool. Thank you. So let's uh, benchmark our new drive, and it cleared the old data, uh, but the settings are still the same from last time. So we get about the same results. Uh, so the circumstances should be about the same. So let's <coughs> punch in our password once again. I don't get any chance of forgetting that. That's for sure. Oh, this is not good. Uh, that's not great. And that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. That's not great. And that's not great. It um, looks like it has some issues up here, so yeah, that's probably why I have this drive. Uh, average speed 181 megabytes per second, that's not bad. And we get a, a high up here of a lot, that's probably about 160 megabytes per second, that's a lot. Okay, let's just for fun and giggles try and run the crystal disk mark. Now that I have installed it, there, and we select the right drive, that one, and all, and yes, and password again, and that takes a while, okay, it's done, and it doesn't look that bad, to be quite honest, uh, 233 megabytes per second from a spinning disk well i wouldn't call that a total failure <laughs> so yeah so as the server is, is booting on one of these intel solid state drives and has one inside with linux and this one has windows on it we're just going to replace that drive and uh, and switch it over to windows i know i could do some dual boot but well i like this way it works as well. Slam bam, we are back in Windows. And we can test that hard drive with uh, Crystal Disk Mark and HD Tune. And it's usually HD tune that I use, even though this is um, 
the old free version and we get a overview again and it shows more or less the same thing as we saw in Linux okay yeah it's clear to see that this isn't doing very well it's all the way down to 6.2 megabytes per second it's scratching the bottom down here so yeah that's not a very good drive so let's try and replace it with the other one I think we can do this rather quickly let's just close this down and just remove the drive that we have been testing and I'll put in the other one that should be we were just testing drive number two so this should be drive number one uh, it doesn't really show well I was too quick it's not showing up yet ah. uh, so let's that again there it is cool so that should well in Linux it was ever so slightly better well it was actually a lot better in Linux uh, this drive let's see if it's also better in Windows so far it's not doing bad Ooh. so uh, when it doesn't do those pokey things in Windows I usually say that it's a good drive and in uh, Linux it was also a lot better it only had I think it had one and it wasn't that bad so I think we will go with this one being a good drive and the other one being a, a bad drive because the other one well, it's not even that bad the other one I've seen a lot worse so yeah Apparently Windows and Linux agrees on uh, on how the drive is doing. I do not get many information here either, so they they agree on that as well. So, eh. wonderful that Linux and Windows agrees on something. And I found another good-ish drive. It's of course still dodgy, but it's well. How do you say that? It's not. It's good enough for me to play around with, but too dodgy for a professional environment. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna make this video a bit short. Sorry about that. If you are in need of some hardware of some sort, I do highly recommend Barkin Hardware, who is located in the United Kingdom. So it's barkinhardware.co.uk. And if you use the checkout code, my playhouse, small letters, you get 5% off of your purchase. This is um, its only the first time that you get something from Bargain Hardware that you get this awesome 5% discount. So uh, yeah, let me know if your mom needs something. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.